Hello, this is Chef Maxine from York Region Food Network and it is time for What's for Dinner? All right, so since we're making a chicken curry, what we're gonna do is prepare the chicken, of course. So, first things first. So I have my chicken um, and you can, I've decided to go with bone in skinless pieces and these are thighs. Now if you prefer white meat, you can definitely use uh, chicken breast. If you like drumsticks, you can use drumsticks. I've even made a curry using chicken wings. So, okay, then next up we're gonna grab our curry powder. So again, like I said, so curry powder, if you have a kind, a brand that you like to use at home, guess what? use that one. This is a Caribbean style, so you know, like if you have a, a Thai uh, chili <laughs> uh, curry, that's probably not gonna be um, for this particular dish. Uh, but this is just, uh, you can buy at any um, grocery store, you can find any different kinds of curry. So if there's a kind that you like, that's the one you're gonna use. And then I would put about a teaspoon of salt and maybe a tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice and mix that all together and then let it sit in uh, that solution for at least 20 minutes after the 20 minutes when it's uh, after it's been sitting you're going to rinse it right off and then sort of pat it dry and then your chicken is ready to prepare now our curry powder i have maybe a couple of tablespoons of curry powder you want to be generous with it because this is where all your flavor is going to come from I, i'm going to use some of it just to season the meat itself so just sprinkling some on the meat and i'm going to save some to put in the pot to cook as well so I sprinkled it on, and just with my hands, I'm gonna just massage uh, the curry powder into the meat. And anytime you're marinating your meat, uh, the longer you leave it in there, in the marinade, then the more flavor you're gonna get from the dish. All right, so first things first, I got my pan on. I'm gonna get it nice and hot, uh, and add some oil into the pan. So you can use cooking oil. If you have coconut oil, it's gonna be beautiful, adds really nice rich flavor. Um, right now I'm just using a little bit of cooking oil. Then my onion and garlic is in here. That's gonna go into the pan first. And you wanna hear that, that sizzle. That sizzle means it's at the right temperature. So I have my onion and garlic, and I'm also gonna go in with my ginger. So once you start to get, it's like nice and shiny, it's glistening, it's looking really good and it's smelling amazing, that's when you know it's time for the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, I will add our cilantro and in like Trinidad uh, and Guyana, they call it shadow benny, just a different name, but it's uh, pretty much cilantro. So we're gonna put that in there and stir that around. And then the other thing we want to do is add some of our additional spices so they actually toast in the oil. And that again, that helps to really develop the flavor. So, like I said, you can put whatever flavors you want. If you want cumin, like additional cumin or coriander. I like a little bit of sweetness in my curry. So I'm going to put a cinnamon stick that I'll remove out. Um, and I have fennel seeds. I really like the flavor of fennel seeds in, uh, in a curry. So I'm just gonna pour some fennel seeds. It's like half a teaspoon and one small fennel stick. Uh, one, sorry, one small uh, cinnamon stick. And then just toast those together. Now that it's, that looks pretty good. So now that it's all kind of uh, sweating together, the flavors are developing, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna add my curry powder into the pan as well. Like I said, when you're toasting your spices, that's really where you develop the flavor. And curry just loves having oil as a vehicle to help release its flavor. So it's coming together really nicely. You can see it's, it's kind of becoming like a more of a paste. All right, so that looks delicious. At this point now, my, I'm going in with my tomatoes. tomatoes I like using fresh tomatoes and then as it cooks it breaks down and it starts to develop the sauce and at this point we're gonna add the chicken so our chicken is going into our pot okay take a look at that it's already looking good it's already smelling good so right here, at this point, I'm gonna take a little bit of salt 
and sprinkle on top just to help develop the flavors. And I'm gonna start with a little bit and I'll taste this, I'll taste the sauce afterwards and add more um, towards the end. But I want the salt to help penetrate all the flavors and bring it all together. And as well is I'm gonna put some fresh cracked black pepper and mix this all together. All right, looks good. Before I add any extra water or stock or broth or anything like that, I'm going to put a, um, a lid on the pot and what's going to happen is the chicken is going to release a lot of its own moisture. I'm going to keep it at about three on the, on the stove so it'll be like low medium and then it's just going to cook together, release a little bit of water and we'll come back and we'll take a look and see how it is doing in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's time to see how our curry is doing. Oh, look at this. So if you take a peek inside, you can see it's more saucy looking and we haven't added any additional uh, moisture in here. So that looks great. It's already starting to cook. The, the sauce is beginning to develop. So at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. You can use vegetable stock or chicken broth. Uh, if you like, but the uh, curry itself has a lot of flavor. If you don't have it at home, that's okay, because you can just uh, use a little bit of water, so that's fine. Um, so we're gonna just stir it around here, a little bit more, so that it is nice and saucy. Our chicken is probably like 50% cooked, so at this point also, what I'll do is I'll add in our uh, the, our Caribbean sweet potato. So I'm going to add this in here so that it can cook along with our chicken pieces and hopefully they'll be done at the same time. So I put that in there. I'm going to give it a stir. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, so we're going to give that a stir. I'll put the lid back on and allow it to continue I'll put the lid back on and allow it to continue to cook probably for about another 15 or 20 minutes until all the chicken is cooked through and the uh, sweet potato is nice and soft. So we'll be back. Oh wow, this looks amazing. So you can see our sauce is sticking up really nicely. Uh, I'll remove this piece of cinnamon stick and give it a stir. That looks beautiful. So our potatoes, you just wanna make sure your chicken is cooked all the way through. You wanna make sure your potatoes are nice and soft and that you have this really nice thick gravy. Uh, and then that is a perfect curry right there. So for my last and final step, I always like to add something green into my dish. So whether it's spinach leaves, I have kale today, kale leaf, collard greens, any kind of greens, I just like to add, especially if it's into like a soup or a stew, just adds that extra kick of vitamins and nutrients. Um, and it's almost undetectable in the dish. So if you have kids who aren't really fans of their greens, this is a good way to get it in there. So now I have some nice small pieces of kale and all of this, I'm just gonna put it right into my curry, give it a stir, and then just the residual heat will just kind of wilt the kale into the sauce, and then it's just ready to go from there. So there you have it. This is our curry chicken with some kale and some Caribbean sweet potato. Amazing. So now it is your turn. Do you have a favorite curry recipe that you'd like to share with us? So you can follow along, check out my recipe, see how it differs from yours. Or maybe this is the first time you've made curry. So thanks again, and we'll see you next week for What's for Dinner.